We're joined now by Harcourt's West Coast business owner, Janelle Carey. Thank you so much for joining us from your beautiful but wild part of the world tonight, Janelle. It is an amazing, amazing place. Give us an idea of how things are looking overall in your area. Oh, look, we're experiencing one of the busiest times that um, I've certainly known of in the last 15 years. Uh, if we list a property in Rosebury today, it's gone tomorrow. Um, yeah, things are moving very quickly. We're going to show some beautiful vision of how amazing the West Coast really is. And it seems to me that it's really got its brand messaging on point. It's had an influx of, of festivals and, and tourists, but also a bit of a resurgence in mining and economic development too, by the sounds of things. Yes. Yeah, look, certainly every town's got a, a different story and there's different things happening everywhere, but um, certainly a lot of activity. And that must uh, be positive from you. We'll take a, a look now at um, some of the towns that you do cover and we'll start off with, with beautiful Strawn when we bring up those stats. And just to see the amazing, you know, doubling over 20 years um, for that median house price up to around 210,000 with a maximum of 510,000. What's, what's happening in Strawn? Uh, Strawn, as we know, is a, a fishing village. Um, things are fairly consistent there at the moment, um, but look, always beautiful. Okay, and to Queenstown now, we'll have a look at those stats. Um, obviously, um, it's an, another amazing increase over the course. Back in 2000, it was $25,000 for the median price and now up to $112,000. What's, what's generated that growth? Yes. Queenstown's a real artist hub, um, and I think because it's got most of the infrastructure for the West Coast, um, a lot of people will prefer to move there because there's more services. But um, yeah, look, at, at the moment, it's just gone crazy. Property prices there have really jumped in the last three months. They've jumped about 25,000. Yep. And again, we just can't keep a property out there for sale. And uh, Zian as well, obviously a challenge over the course of history with its mining ups and downs, but that's uh, looking at a median of 120,000. Yeah, prices have gone down a little bit in Zian over the past six months, but look, I really think Zian's a little bit of a sleeping giant. We're looking forward to the opening of Avebury Mine again, hopefully later on this year, and the bike tracks all bring different sorts of people to the West Coast, but it's certainly an adventurous hub. And just finally, a quick look at Rosebury, um, the median price there, 99,000, so still under the 100,000 mark. That's uh, good buying by yeah. the looks of it. Uh, very good buying um, and prices have certainly moved up there over the last 12 months. But, um, you know, we used to have about 30 properties on the market. At the moment, we've got one. Okay. And I do understand your phone has been red hot. You've been inundated with calls after the West Coast Council released some land for sale. So Tell has. me about that. Yeah, look, we had about 10 pieces of land. Most of those have been sold already. We listed them on Friday um, and very, very popular for the adventurers. And what sort of, who, who's buying them? What's the socioeconomic um, demographic, well, I suppose, for people investing in the area? Yeah, a, a lot more people that I think have got interest in the bike tracks. Certainly we've had a lot of people that just want to put sheds up, um, put caravans on and come along and do some of the adventuring. Okay, well, it looks like I better buy myself a mountain bike and head your way to do a, a property profile at some stage. <laughs> we'll all get fit that way. <laughs> Lovely. Thanks for your time tonight, Janelle. Pleasure. Thank you.